Hello YouTube, this is Airbay68, back to you with more big reviews. I have two today for you guys, and each and several reviews, like always, will de freaking do. Alright, first review I am doing, well, I might as well just do preview. And my preview is going to be of... Hmm, actually not, this guy's a little too special for preview. I'll give it away. Alright, the guy I'm reviewing now is 14 inch tall Marvel Legends Icons variant Venom. I ordered him. He came loose, so yeah. But yeah, so um, this guy was really awesome. I'm gonna go in to the um, paint apps and sculpt first just I have to tell you look at that face that is a demonizing face that face reminds me of a killer venom but yeah you see Eddie Brock in there you can see some paint apps that do show where his eyes would be like right there his eyes would be right there too and right there yeah you can kind of see where his eyes would be See his freaking jaw, it's huge. His tongue is poseable. I'll get into articulation next. Um, but yeah, he's got his hair and everything. And then his thing is sculpted in his symbol, which is pretty freaking awesome because it's nice gray and white all the way around to a beautiful muscle on the back, making him look positively divine. See, I have to go all the way back just for you guys to see him on this camera. Yeah, this guy's really big. And he's right next to my head and he doesn't fit in the freaking camera. But yeah, so this guy has a lot of black. That's good. He's not really blue. He's actually black. He does have a few shades of blue on his shoulders, but that's just about it. That's actually a good thing. Oh, and on his legs, too. And his... Yeah, he's got shades of blue, they're just hard to see. That's what makes him awesome, because Venom's known to be more black than blue. Thank you, God. Um, yeah, so this guy's really nice in this sculpt. He's really nice. He's got sharp toes and everything. Really awesome claws, too. Looks like he can tear someone's head off. But yeah, now let's go into articulation, my favorite part. Now, you... Notice his tongue is poseable, has a wire in it. I don't want to really move it around so it doesn't break. But yeah, he has a ball joint in his head that goes down that far, up really far. Does do a full 360. I mean, if you do that, his head will go, but it'll go. Da -da -da. He looks like kind of like a retard doing that, but yeah, so. Yeah, and then he has a ball joint shoulder, which is actually a click. It goes a full 360, like a click, so it adjusts for you. Bicep swivel, double ball joint and elbows, a um, ooh, a forearm swivel with finger articulation, not in thumb. Um, is an insane app crunch which snaps into place. Only goes far back that far, and it clicks only once for that far. Yeah, that's that part for you. Um, it does have a waist swivel, which is actually better this way because it locks up a symbol. Then he has a ball joint in his um leg, which goes forward and back. But you have to do that twisting thing, so I'm not really going to do that. I don't really move around much, and I will get into the warnings of this guy in a second here. He does have a upper thigh swivel. He does have a double ball joint in his knee. He does have a calf swivel. He does have a ball joint in his um, 
angle along with angle pivot chart of his prime you know you want that angle pivot he's actually got this except the other version not the variant like I do ha <laughs> ha and he has toe articulation yeah basically the same as the other one except insane in his face unlike the other one but yeah so I really recommend you pick this up and frankly see I got big hands, but seriously, that's as far as I can reach around him. A really big guy. I really thought he was huge until I got the guy I'm reviewing next. So yeah, stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe, like if you like it. I'll see you later. See you around.